Going to be making some chicken drumsticks today. Now what we're going to do is sort of flavour up the outside with some sort of various spices, shake them in a bag, get it all coated, then you lay the chicken into a baking tin, a little bit of butter in there, cook it up in the oven, and when they come out, oh, lovely, lovely. Now first of all, I just want to go through the ingredients. Now I've got my chicken drumsticks there and they've been washed and dried. Now I've actually got eight, but they're not particularly big, so if yours is a little bit bigger, maybe you could do it with six. Then I've got the coating that we're going to use to go on the outside of the chicken, give it those beautiful flavours. Now I've got two tablespoons of plain flour, one teaspoon of salt, and then half a teaspoon of freshly ground black pepper, mild curry powder, paprika, and then I've got a chicken seasoning, comes in a pot, all mixed up, got some lovely flavours in there. And finally, a little bit of cayenne pepper, one quarter of a teaspoon, so not very much. Now the cayenne pepper just gives it a little bit of heat. So, you know, put a little bit less rather than a little bit more, but it just adds to the sort of whole flavour of this, beautiful. And then finally, I've got about 25 grams, so a little slice of butter. Now the butter's gonna go in the baking tin. Once that's all melted and we've got all this coating on the chicken, you just put it in the oven, cook it up for about half an hour, maybe slightly longer if you've got bigger pieces of chicken. And when it comes out, it's beautiful and it tastes delicious. So what we're gonna do is to get ourselves a bag, pour all this sort of mixture of seasoning into the bag, give it a shake, and then we're gonna put the chicken pieces in there and just get it all nicely coated. Now incidentally, I've left those spoons there because you can buy these. I actually got mine in the cracker, but they're really useful for mixing up spices so you get the right amount. That's a tablespoon, a teaspoon, half a teaspoon, and a quarter of a teaspoon. So worth getting hold of some of those. So let's get a bag and mix up all this sort of, sort of spices. So I've got myself a bag. I mean, this is like a freezer bag, keep your food, but any bag you've got that's clean and hasn't got any holes. Now, I'm just gonna get all this sort of mixture. Just put it in there and just kind of give it a shake really. Just get it all mixed up. That's it. Open that up. So there's your mixture inside. Now I'm just going to pour or place all the chicken in there. There you go. Just seal the bag up to the top. Just kind of shake it all. You see you've got all the mixture coated on the chicken pieces. There you go, I think we're done. Look at that, all coated and some beautiful flavours on there. Smells good already. Now let's go and switch on the oven and then sort of melt that butter and then we can just put the chicken in the baking tin, get it cooking. Now I'm just going to move the bag out of the way and let's get me baking tin. Now, with my baking tin, I've put some tin foil on there because it just saves on the washing up later on. Put a little bit of tin foil, but you haven't got to. Now, I'm just taking my butter out. So, there we go, a little bit of butter. Get the oven sort of preheated, put the butter in. Once it's melted, put your chicken in. So, the butter's just about melted. So, let's just pull this out. Okay. Pushing me like there a little bit. Then I've got all those chicken pieces. I've got all the coating on there. I might actually just quickly give that a bit of a swirl around in there. So, and then just place those in. That's it. Just about got those in. Nice and snug. So let's just push that in the oven. Pull it out so you can see it a little bit. Shut the oven. So now I've got the piece of chicken sitting in the oven, cooking away. Now you want to leave those for about 30 minutes for the size of chicken pieces I've got. Obviously, if you've got thicker drumsticks or you're using something like chicken thighs, you might have to give them another 10 or 15 minutes extra. Now, temperature-wise, I'm going to be cooking at 220 degrees Celsius, 425 degrees Fahrenheit, gas mark seven. Give them half an hour, turn them over, halfway through. Now I'm about halfway through the cooking, so I've been cooking mine for 15 minutes. I'm just gonna pull them out a little bit. Give them a shake, just to kind of loosen them up a little bit from the bottom there. And I'm just gonna turn those over. So if we're careful, 
just turn them right round and get them back in any of that buttery mixture left. So I'll just carry on and turn those all over. And again, just pop them back in and carry on cooking. So I've finished cooking the chicken. Now I've left mine for 30 minutes. So let's just open it up. Whoa, beautiful smells. Oh, that is just really nice. Get the old nose going. Give that a shake, just to kind of loosen those up a little bit. So when we take them out, you don't sort of peel off the skin and stuff. Now I'm gonna put those on the table. They look good, they smell good, and if they taste good, we're on to a winner. So let's put it on the table. Now just put mine on the table there and I've got like a protective cloth underneath so it doesn't sort of burn the wooden table. Now I'm just gonna leave that loosely there for sort of five or 10 minutes, just kind of let them tenderize a bit, a little bit, and then we can put them on a the plate and dry one. So I've left my chicken for about 10 minutes, just to kind of tenderize a little bit. I mean, obviously you could serve them up straight away, but I'm just gonna bring a plate there. That looks really nice and, oh, lift that tin foil off. Beautiful. Now I'm gonna transfer all mine onto a plate and then we can serve it up. Now obviously we've got those juices and they've got all those spices. Well, you know, let's pour that over. Oh yeah. Let's just try one of those. Hmm, I'm gonna go for this one, I think. Still pretty warm, but oh, looks nice all the way around, browned off. Let me just try it. Mm -mm. Mm, that's nice. Got some beautiful flavours going on. Oh. That is delicious. And with that buttery taste as well. Got some really nice flavours. Because you get a little bit of that curry, a little bit of heat from the cayenne pepper, and that chicken seasoning. Oh, wonderful. Now obviously you could serve this up with you know a bit of rice, a nice salad, it could form part of your roast dinner, or chunky chips. Go and check that one out. Chunky chips, mmm, beautiful. Really nice simple recipe, and the results are good. You get some beautiful flavours, nicely balanced, and I hope you enjoy. Thanks for watching my videos, and I'll see you again soon.